three World Cup matches against England and three wins. But much has changed in the 20 years since New Zealand last faced the English in the World Cup, as the number one and number two ranked nations prepare for what could be the game of the tournament in Saturday's semi-final in Yokohama. Yeah, they've been a, a marvellous team in the last four years. They've won 18 test matches in a row. Um, you know, we, we're really looking forward to playing them as they are us. And yes, there's, a, there's an important side outcome, which is about who's going to win it. But it won't define, won't define the All Blacks, and I'm sure it won't define England either. What does define the All Blacks is their record. They've won more than three quarters of the matches they've ever played and no rugby team transcends their sport like they do. That's despite not winning the World Cup at all between 1987 and 2011. Now they haven't lost a World Cup match in 12 years. Two trophies in a row have answered their critics and made their rugby-obsessed country proud. Such as the popularity of the All Blacks that England coach Eddie Jones described the New Zealand media here as just fans with keyboards. But for the players, Wearing the black jersey also comes with a lot of expectation and pressure. Are you at the stage now where if you don't win every World Cup, the team has failed? <laughs> um, I, you know, of course people are going to say we fail if we don't win, but uh, the nature of the All Blacks in New Zealand and the, you know, the scrutiny that we have on ourselves and expectation is to win. England are good enough to win though this week, and so that's all we're focusing on. We've obviously learned a lot from the past, um, and obviously learn a lot from the past two as well, where um, we have been successful. England have already learned their lessons from a group stage exit four years ago. Victory would put them 80 minutes away from a final against either South Africa or Wales. And the chance to walk in the shoes of 2003 winner Johnny Wilkinson, who says England coach Jones has got his players believing. I think if you ask most of the players, that's kind of how they're feeling, when they feel like, you know what, the limit, yeah, the sky's the limit, and we can be, uh, we can be something quite uh, incredible. I think you know, to do that's not easy, and I think he's he's given that confidence to the players. New Zealand and England avoided playing each other in each of the tournaments they have won. With no recent World Cup history to look back on, they'll have to be content to make their own on Saturday. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Yokohama.